Everyone has experienced being hurt by someone in their lives. How do we forgive them? That's what we'll be talking about in this week's episode. So stay tuned! Hello, people in the world. I'm Hannah of Hope and Future Bible Devotions that aims to help the young and the young at heart overcome life with the help of the Bible. So if you are new here, then welcome. This could be a pretty heavy one depending on how much someone has hurt you. For some, forgiving is something that is easy to do. But for others, it takes years before they can totally let go. Forgiveness involves a decision to let go of resentment and thoughts of revenge. As we go on three points related to forgiveness, we are going to also be looking at different verses. So let's dive in. Number one is, we are supposed to forgive everyone. Ephesians 4.32 says something for us. And be kind to one another, tenderhearted, and forgiving one another, just as God in Christ forgave you. Who did God forgive? He forgave everyone. As he is our model, we are to forgive everyone too. The verse doesn't say forgive him if he says sorry or treat him the way that he treats you. It says to be kind, tender-hearted, and forgiving one another. It may be hard to just let go. Romans 12 verse 19 says, Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. Let God avenge you. God is a God of justice. Also, you can ask for support from a trusted friend that he or she may be able to pray for you. You can at least be sure that there's someone praying alongside you and you're not alone in this. Also, it's good to immerse yourself in the word. There's a lot of godly wisdom that you can get from it, not just about forgiveness, but about having peace, about living life well. In time, you will be able to reach healing and true peace. Number two. If your brother sins against you, tell him. Matthew 18 verse 15 says, If your brother sins against you, go and tell him his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. There is that misconception that when there is confrontation, you have to be really mad at that person and express all your frustrations to him. But it doesn't necessarily have to be like that. It said in our previous verse, be kind, tender-hearted and forgiving of one another. That person may be wrong, but how do you respond? You know where forgiveness is also tested? It's in romantic relationships. In my case, it's my marriage. It's not true that you're going to end up with someone who you have complete agreement in every single thing that you do and you say. While there are some things that don't have to be big issues, there are also some things that have to be settled. Maybe your significant other said something that offended you. At some point, it has to be resolved because we don't want it to be like dirt that you just sweep under a rug. The more you just sweep more and more dirt under it, the more it's gonna be obvious that it's there until the point that you can't cover it up anymore and it just shows all of a sudden in one of your arguments. Don't let it pile up. Always have the intention to have peace in your relationships. Number three, forgiveness must be complete. In Matthew 18, 21, it says, Then Peter came up and said to him, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? I find it funny that Peter thinks that seven times is a lot. Well, seven is the number of completion. But here is Jesus' answer at verse 22. Jesus said to him, I do not say to you seven times, but 70 times seven. In other words, there is no limit to forgiveness towards someone. At first, as I was preparing for this, I was initially thinking I can't exactly relate because I don't really hold a grudge toward anyone. As I was expressing this toward my husband, I realized that I did have hurt towards someone before, and that was my mom. I mentioned in one of my testimonies that I shared in the past that my mom has a mental condition and dealing with her can sometimes be a challenge. I know that her mental condition sometimes prevents her from thinking straight, but 
I've chosen to soften up and just forgive. Staying angry results to nothing good. It just hurts more when you hold a grudge. Sometimes the hardest people to forgive are either those who are closest to you and or those that don't think that they did something wrong to you. You can still forgive these people in your heart. It has to be intentional. Now about forgiving and forgetting, we can forgive for sure. Sometimes we don't totally forget what they did, but at least you forget the hurt and you learn from it. Always see every opportunity as a way to build your character. Mayo Clinic talks about the benefits of forgiveness giving someone healthy relationships, improved mental health, less anxiety, stress and hostility, lower blood pressure, fewer symptoms of depression, a strong immune system, improved heart health, and improved self-esteem. That's what we have for today's episode. For more verses on forgiveness, you can check them out in the description box below. And I will also be adding more resources there that you can just read or even buy. If this video has helped you in any way, then feel free to smash that like button. If you like more content like this, then feel free to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you can get the latest updates on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And don't forget, as the great philosopher Queen Elsa says, just let it go.